Welcome to the Sanford Edible Garden Trail, the place where we share ideas about growing food in your backyard. So we've come back to Lee's garden. We visited last week and we saw his amazing wicking bed, wicking bed garden, which you can see behind me. And he's invited us back today because he's going to show us how to make one of these amazing wicking beds. Okay, here we are with Lee. Thanks, Lee, okay. very much for having us back at your amazing garden. Uh, we ended up calling your garden the Wicking Bed Garden in our last video because we were just, we loved it so much. And um, so we, we, we've come back because we'd love to learn your technique of making a wicking bed. And this is what we're doing today. We are converting this yeah, yeah. into two wicking beds. Yeah. That's an IBC, what they call an IBC tank. It's an IBC tank. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so let's start. We're going to do a quick run over of the tools and what you need if you want to make this. Okay. So what have we got here? We've got a table. Well, the, the, the basic, most people will have these, like there's a couple of drills, there's a jigsaw, there's a sander or side grinder, there's a level, a square, a bit of silicon, um, hammer, a bit of a tool, bolt cutter, but the one that probably they wouldn't have is this one here. And it, I can't really get the name of it, because it doesn't say, but it's called an impact. And it has, it's for the screws on the bottom of the tank, it's got six, six little prongs as opposed to the normal drill that has four. You can pick them up at most prices. I think they have them down here at, in Sanford. And I think they also have them at Bunnings. So just, just take one of those, you can sort of see there what it's like. Other than that, you know, most of the stuff is normal. Okay, all right, well that's good to know. So yeah. most things are in the toolbox, but this is the particular thing that's and it needs to have the six, to, to get six that out. prongs yeah. to get that out. Okay, we will put a list of all of the tools and the bits and pieces that you need in the description. Okay, so look for that. And I'll go down and ask if there is a name for it. Okay. You know, but I thought it would be on the packet. We'll call it the six prong thing. <laughs> okay, so you need the six prong thing. And we also have a few little bits and pieces that we need to get. So let's have a look yeah, at okay. those. Well, first of all, naturally, the, the, uh, the, the tank. Okay. Now, there, <coughs> you, can, you, can, you can look on the web. Um, they're around $100 for a clean one. Maybe sometimes a little bit more. But about a hundred bucks. Okay. Yeah. So it's an IBC. That's what they call them, an IBC tank. Yeah. Okay. But, right. but they're uh, um, you can look on on Gumtree and whatever, and, and usually pick them up on that basis. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And but we need a few other little. A things. few other little things. Okay. Let's have a look okay. at those. Now, the the base, the floor, rather than so, some people fill it full of rocks, but I don't like that because it takes up too much space. It doesn't have enough well, so. I use weld mesh, okay. set on, on little uh, cut off pieces of pipe. So you probably need some, uh, some 100 mil PVC and if you know a, a, a uh, plumber, often they'll have 150 mil PVC. Okay, so and that's let's the little look at one. that. That's this one here. So this is pre-cut, we'll come to this later, don't worry yeah. about that. This is just the piping that you need, so this is the 100 mil? Yep. And that's 150 mil there. Now, if you can't get the 150 mil, um, you can buy these pots. Again, at Bunnings, you need to put two together to make them strong enough. Okay. You cut them off, and that's 120 mil from there to there. Okay. And the same with them, they're 120 mil. Okay, so you can make it work. PVC, about two meters now of 25 mil PVC. And you need these fittings. Now, you end up with a with a piece shaped like that, that's where the tank fits. You, this is inside the tank, that's outside the tank. So you end up with these pieces here. Now you can often buy 25 mil washers. I just couldn't find any so I made, made them with a, out of a bit of plastic I had. Um, a little bit of um, sealer for your PVC. Um, the geotech cloth. Um, again about um, it's about 1.8 meters per length, so you need two of them, whatever that works out at. 
okay. uh, 3.6 or something. So about four meters all up with your other little bits and pieces of, of uh, geotech cloth. Now you can use um, shade cloth. It just doesn't work quite as well. Okay. You tend to let a little bit of sand through and whatever. Okay. But it does work. You can put a couple of layers of that and it does work. And what else? That's about... Oh, now I told about that. That's about all the material that you need. Okay, good. Okay, so, okay, so now we're going to start um, actually making the bed. So we start with cutting. Is that right? I'll start unscrewing the, the unscrewing. tank from the frame. Okay, yep. go ahead. So, okay. How now, do we do it? As I mentioned earlier on, unfortunately, there's two size screws. Okay. One is a T40 and the other was T30. Quite it. So I'm just going to push this out so I can get at it. All the way on the So, okay, so the first step, Lee, then, we, you took all of the bolts. All the ones off the bottom. All the bolts off the bottom. Yep. And the first two were the tricky ones. Yep. What did they need? They them? need the, the T30 size of this little bit. Okay, they were tricky to get to. And then the other ones just yeah. needed there is a, a like There is a nut. These don't have a nut underneath. So. But this one okay. is also a little tricky. Don't touch it. See what happens. Okay. You can lose the finger real quick. Right. So you just put your shift on. There's just, a, there's just a tendency to uh, grab it by hand. Yeah, sure. And you'll lose it. Lose the finger. Okay, so now I'm going to push it this way. Out there is it. <laughs> there is a tendency for people to want to leave it sitting on this rather than put it straight in the ground. Um, I did it once and I will never do it again because it's a great place for mice and rats and okay. frogs and everything else. So don't, don't use it. Okay, don't be tempted to use this bottom tray. Yeah, just, just put it straight on the ground. Okay, yeah. great. Because it's over there and it's... Uh, I'll take that? Yeah, just, we'll just get it out of the way. We've taken the base off. And now the, the next step, Lee, is next what are we doing? Bit, well, just to get this bit of, bit of metal off because we've got to cut th through it otherwise. Okay, sure. So it's just a bit of a, a noisy thing to do. Okay. But So once you've got that off, the next step is to is push to that. Push that out, and then you measure where the cuts are. Okay. Which I've done on that one already. Okay, <coughs> great. But so I'll just push this one out of the way a little bit, and that's where we'll leave it. I think. Okay, great. Yeah. We'll so just watch your feet. Okay, so yep. so the next step. So we've taken out the um, the tank part. The tank of it. from it. Yeah, it's we've gone. taken the tank, and then what's the next step? The next step is to is to measure this halfway. Measure it halfway. Yeah, and, and it's usually 520. Five, okay. Is usually the mark. So you go there, 520. 520. And just in case there is a somebody made a different size when you measure both ways. So 520 is in half because this yeah. is making two working yes, two working beds. That's right. Yeah. And uh, so I'll just mark that. 520. Yeah. That one's been marked, so once they're marked, like that, then you take the uh, side grinder. The side grinder? Or the, come on, another way, Dolly.
Okay, now the sharp bit goes when you when you're working through a water. Um, the sharp bit goes down. Okay, so the sharp bit points to the ground. Yep, like that. And uh, you can't just go to the center because you see they're off off center. See how this one's longer than that one. You see that one's got short. Oh, okay, yes. But it's still the right the same length from here to here, from there to there. Okay. So you just you just can't say, oh, I'll cut it straight down the middle. If you do, you end up with one long and one short. Okay, so yeah. you, you need to measure the 520. You need to measure it, oh, yeah. otherwise you'll... Uh, all right. I use a square, is because it's it's all over the place. And if you tried to, if you tried to measure, you know, it's really hard to do. But if you put the square on like that, you can see that line that I made there. It goes right... Okay, so... Um, yeah for the camera and Lee has marked down here. So this is a man who's made a lot of wicking beds. So you've yeah. adapted your oh, tools. I cut it wrong I like a it. few times. So yeah. And you put, put it on that Perfect. side just to check it. And so you know that it's right. So then Thanks. once you've made your little marks, then you use a straight edge. Which I just which I just use this. And uh, pop that up there like that. Put it on those marks that you made. Okay. And just run it along. And draw a line. Yeah. All right. So run you've drawn a line yeah. the whole way around. Yeah. And then you take the the uh, the uh, cutting disc and you go ahead and you cut it. Okay. Is this the same cutting tool that yeah. we just yes. used? Yeah. I just put a bit more bigger blade on this one. Okay. So it's oh, a another bigger blade. That one got worn down. Okay. And you don't have a lot of room, so I put a brand new one on. Okay. So it's yeah. a new blade, same tool. Yeah. yeah same right. tool. And we got to we'll finish this up now. Okay. Off you go. Great. One, one. Okay. Well, okay. This is so starting now, to look like something. Hey. Huh? Starting to look like. Yeah, it's starting. Something. Now we'll, we'll take this one because it's got that. That. Uh, okay. So one of those got that pop. inside. So I'm going to take this off. Like okay. that. Did you get that, Chrissy? So he's just taking that off. I'm taking that top bit off, and then I'm going to fill it up with uh, with silicon because it invariably it leaks. Okay. And you don't want to fill it full of, okay. full of all that soil and everything and find that it leaks. It's not a good, uh, okay. not a good position to be in. Okay, Lee, so what's the next job? The next job is to put the, for want of a better word, floor in, I guess. Okay, and so and you've pre-done well. pre this one. I've done that much. But I'll do one more leg. Okay. And uh, what so I So let's just run through this. This was this mesh that you bought. Yeah. And well, you've made, this is 150. 100. And 100. Yeah, and they're, okay. And they're 120. All right. 120 and long, yeah. And 120. So, so what I use is the, uh, the jigsaw here. Okay, Lee, so what you just did then is you cut, use the jigsaw to cut uh, this yeah, pipe. Uh, 120. Okay, so this is 120 yeah, length. Yeah, that's 100 mil that way. And, and 100 mils across, yeah. and then you've used... Well, these holes are random because what we do... We've done a drill just with some holes going yeah, around. Yeah, just so I can, I can strap it onto here. And you see, there's the edge, because I haven't finished cutting it, that. So we're going to come down to and over to, so it fits in with this one. Okay. So it's going to go probably there like that. And then the good old zip tie. 
zip tie does everything, doesn't yes. it? Yes. So it goes in. And you cut it so you have some, see how this has gone down? And it holds it together. So, the, so you don't cut it there, you cut it here so you can bend them down. Okay. And while we're here, I have, I just, I measured this, it's, it's 11, um, 1100, um, not 1200, so you have to cut this bit off as well. Now what we'll do... Okay, so what Lee just did then is he just cut away the corners. Just the corners, to because it cuts the round corners, yeah. And can you see inside there, Chrissy? You can see that this one fits. Is So that's why you had to do the bigger one for the middle. Was that well, right? it's another one could have worked. A small one, but you'd have to make it a bit longer so it goes down and puts pressure on the on the lid then. Okay. So it's better, the bigger one is better if you can Okay, to go around the lid. Yeah. Okay, Lee, so okay. what's the next step? The next step is to, is to drill the outlet hole. Okay. But the reason we're putting this on now is so we get it correct height. Otherwise, we end up putting the outlet behind. Okay. The so this is to make sure yep. you don't drill the hole in the wrong spot. Yep. We're yep. going to double check. Yep. So we're going to flick it over like this. You always have the smooth, the smooth side up, and the pointy bits going down. Watch your fingers. Now that's not too bad. So, okay. Okay, so Lee, how are you deciding where to put the hole? Well, it's got two two things. One is where these are. Okay. And the other one is is where the me metal is. Okay. But I think I'm going to cut that one out right there. Okay. I'm just going to cut that out. Uh, so I'll do that now. The idea is to keep your outlet down fairly low so that, um, because you can always put a riser on it, in, but that way you can get most of the water out. You know, when, when it's, if it rains too much or something like that. So I'm just going to cut that little, you might just hold that for me, eh? Yes. So I'm just going to nick that off. The next thing is to put the fittings we'll put in. Put the fittings in. And what have we got here? Okay, well, we've got this, this little fellow which is called Mail on both ends. Okay. And it goes through the hole. Okay. Then we're going to put the washer on. Okay. And then we'll put this elbow on. And that will squeeze against against the uh, the side of it. And we're also going to put a little bit of that silicon on it when we get it okay. Great. a little Let's bit closer to the mark. So I'm going to put it through from this side. That's going to go through. Now, the reason that that's like that is so that the sand and stuff doesn't get into it. It won't come up and block it. Okay, so Whereas point it down. Whereas if you have a straight one out, sometimes the people, they just put one straight yeah. out. It still gets covered, and even though you put geotech around it and everything. If you do it that way, it seems to work. Okay, that's a good tip. Yeah, it seems to work very well. Okay, so and so when you put that in, I noticed you put um, some silicon around it yeah. and some tape as yeah. well. So it's just double checking just again. Just double check to try to make it as good as can. This one now just goes on here. And that little fella goes on there. Now I don't put anything on here to, to seal it because you may want to take that off to let all the water out. 
So that's what I normally just do it like that. Okay. And you can put another plug in there if you want to bring the water up higher. Yes. So now we're going to put the inlet in. Okay. And it's got a, it's, this pipe's going to stand up like that. And the inlet's going to go in, but I'll cut a piece off, probably about Hear my ducks? Yes. That goes okay. there. One and then this one's just going in here to yep. zip. Yep. Okay. And then over on the other side, we got enough zip ties. We hold on. Yep. No, that's enough. I'm just going to recap yep. what we did there. Yep. So we've put the inlet valve in. Yep. So you connected all of the um, piping pieces there and you used a, um, it's like a glue pipe grip yeah. to join yeah. it together yeah. so yeah. that, yeah, it would be a bit disastrous if that fell Well, it would be a real pain. Yeah. Yeah. Look, it wouldn't be the end of the world, but it wouldn't work as well. It wouldn't work as well. Yeah. Okay, then we've just zip tied it in to keep yep. it secure and zip tied in each of the sides. The reason we've done the sides is when we carry it, it doesn't fall out and, and break the and break the outlet. Okay. All right. So what we're going to do now is we're going to carry it down and put it where it's supposed to go. Okay. And, it's and then we're going to put the geotech in and then we'll put some sand in. Fantastic. Okay. Let's do it. Okay. So we just grab, yeah, just grab there. Okay. I think that's not, I don't think that's too bad actually. Okay, so Lee, in finding the spot, you needed to make sure that it was level. Yep. Okay, and then you made a little dint where the, um, the lid part could go down. Yep. Yeah, okay. And I don't think it's level, so we're going to have to get the level and just check it. Okay. So I'll go up and go grab the level. Okay. I think it's high on that corner. Okay, so Lee, we just spent a bit of time getting that level. Okay, and, um, and now what's the next step? Next step is to cut these, these little strips of geotech. Okay, so this is so geotech. That's a bit, and poke them into those holes with the PVC. And usually about that square works. And the reason we do that is so that the sand goes down but doesn't leach out. You need. Okay, we're stuffing the PVC yeah, pipes that yeah. you've used as little yeah. legs. Now, the little okay. legs are very important because if we didn't have, if we just put bricks in, for instance, and the water level dropped, then it can't wick up anymore. So these are little wicks, actually, these little pipes. Ah, uh, okay, because this allows, I understand, so because yeah. this is allowing the geotech to go right down to the Yeah, bottom. and allowing the sand okay. to get right in there. So this is one of the things that you worked out going along, didn't you? Yeah, the years it, past. it turned out that it, uh, you know, I was having trouble and it, that, that's what the trouble was. So that goes there like that. And I do another one. So this is the kind of knowledge that you can only get from another gardener. <laughs> yeah, right? I guess Somebody so. Somebody actually done it before. Well, look, the funny part about it was I, I looked on the, on the web and one of the, it wasn't CSRO, but it was one of that lot, drew this beautiful picture and it was all nice and symmetrical. And I did that and the, once the water dropped, it didn't work anymore. Yeah. And I thought, well, that's not too good an idea. Yeah. Okay, so what we've, Lee, can you just explain what we've done here? Because this is the special little kind of um, trick that you've yeah. worked out over the years. Yeah. Th these are the true wicks when you think about it because the little, those little pipes take the sand to the bottom of the well so they're all, always wet. So even though the water drops, it'll still wick up through that sand into the manger, yeah. the main part. Yeah, um, I can And see uh, if you don't have it, it just it, you've got to keep it full all the time. Yeah, I can't Otherwise make sense. it doesn't work. Yeah. So you've put um, a little bit of the geotech into each just of those pipes, the sand, yeah. and then a little bit of the sand on yeah. top. And that holds the sand from you know disappearing. Okay. And now, now we're going to take this 
across like this. The reason we're doing this is just to sort of hold it in place, then we can shovel it in properly. One more tin. Now we're just about finished. But what we have to do, you see that little, see where that, that bit of sand is? Yeah. Right, with a little, with a little wick with, we just got to cut that right. I was cut out there like that. And then when the sand goes on top, it's um, it's got sand on sand then. Yeah. And there's nothing stopping it from coming up. Okay, so yeah, the important thing that you just did then is above each of those round yep. pipes yep. where we had the the wick, yep. the wick in, we have to cut a hole. I usually just do a star like a, a star, you know, okay. Cut it four. Yeah. Two cuts. So that you can then and connect then you tuck the them sand. back, tuck them back in. Okay. And then put some sand on top. Okay. And that seems And then that's it. That's it. So, so basically once if you did that to each of those pipes, yep. then the next step is it's, to put a layer of sand. A layer of sand about four inches. Four inches. And then That's it. And then with and the, then the soil? Yeah. You see the four inches will bring it up almost to that that wick there. Almost to that. And then the rest will be soil from there up. Okay, so anything above this, this is the, um, what did you call the it, the draining one? Yeah, the outlet, yep. Yeah. The outlet. So anything above that yep. can be soil. And you can... And so once you've you've got the sand and then you've got the soil, yep. basically what we would have then is like what we've got just there. Yeah. Is we've got your IBC yep. DIY <laughs> um, wicking bed. Yep. Yeah, it all, so, that's, that's all you have to do and then uh, fill it up. It's interesting when you put the sand on and you fill it but you don't fill it right to the top and you watch it it still wicks up you see that this after after a day all the sand is wet it's quite interesting to watch it yeah so it, you know it's working then yeah, yeah great yeah okay and then from then on um, any watering that you do you always water in through this inlet look although it, I know you said last weeks, time we visited the first you. couple of weeks when you do seedlings yeah. You need to water from the top. From the top, yeah. Until they until they get their roots down and yeah. then from then on below. Yeah. And it works better below if they if you don't that way you're training the roots to go down, not training them to hang around the yeah. top. Yeah. Thank you very much for Thanks. showing Good us. Idea. And um we've loved coming to visit your beautiful yeah. garden. Come any time. Yeah. Thank you, Lee. Yeah. And okay. uh so thanks very much for following us on the Sanford Edible Garden Trail and you can um Follow along and see some of our other videos and especially look out for the one where we did the garden tour at Lee's place and you can check out all the amazing veggies and fruit trees that he has growing in his wicking beds. Yeah, all so, wicking, well there's a couple that aren't wicking beds. Okay, yeah. there's a couple, but yeah. most of them are wicking beds. Yeah. Alright, we'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Okay. <laughs> Bye.